Hey, I'm making this video today to address a problem I had with the uh, Shoei Quest. Uh, I just purchased this helmet not too long ago. Um, first ride out of the box, I started getting a loud whistling noise coming from right underneath the chin. Uh, I went back to the dealer. He, he suggested that I put this on there. This is a uh, little you know, windscreen that you put underneath the bottom of the helmet. It did stop the whistling there. Unfortunately, this is great for winter time when you want to block wind coming in. Uh, in the summertime, uh, it's going to be way too hot inside my helmet. And where the advertising says that it has this amazing airflow through it, it's good, but it's not as good as the advertising says. It, it definitely, you know, doesn't have amazing, you know, ability to remove heat from inside of the helmet. Um, after putting that windscreen on, it did stop uh, the one whistling, like I said, and putting it here, it did stop the major whistling, which was very loud and very annoying, and I would never have been able to wear the helmet. Um, the second whistling after fixing that came from behind the glass, uh, probably on one of the seams. Uh, it was a uh, wind noise, not as much, it was more of a wind blowing noise than it was a whistling noise this time. Um, called Shoei, uh, they suggested I try the, the, the breath deflector, which is basically something that fits inside the inside of the helmet which also comes with your helmet to keep uh, your breath off the, the, the glass. Well, that's great. That, that worked fine. It cut the fog down. Didn't stop the whistling. Uh, when I talked to the representative, uh, one of the things he said was that it could be the type of bike that I'm riding. Uh, one of the reasons I bought this Shoei Quest was because of the bike that I ride. I ride a Honda 750 Aero. It is an upright riding position. It does not have a windscreen in the front of it. It has absolutely nothing except for uh, the stuff that came with Honda, that Honda, you know, put on the bike. It's uh, all stock. Uh, still had the whistling noise. The other thing that he said that I could do was to put this helmet back into this box and ship it to Shoei. Uh, and uh, there's a 1-800 number in there, and there's a way that, that they say that you can you can get your helmet adjusted for free and to send it there. The only thing is I have to pay for shipping. Uh, so I have paid. Close to $400 after tax and everything for this helmet. Had a major whistle from in here, had to go back to the dealer. Had whistling from behind the glass, had to go back to the dealer. Uh, still not fixed, and the only thing that they can do for me is tell me to put it back in the box and send it back. I have to be honest, there are some really great helmet makers out there. I'm sure Shoei makes a very high quality product with a lot of the stuff they make. I don't know if it is just this helmet, or if it's the whole, like, you know, the Quest uh, line of helmets. But this is a really bad helmet for the price point. This is not a close to $400 after tax helmet. Um, I would highly advise against it. Um, if it's something that you're looking to get, I would definitely think twice. Or definitely, without a doubt, buy it from someone whom you can return it to. So if you do get a helmet that has that large whistling from under here, or that lighter but definitely prominent whistling coming from inside, inside the seams, you then can return it. Uh, hopefully someone out there will have an idea of what I can possibly do about the, the whistling without having to ship it back. If you could, I would love to see your comments. Um, help me out. 